What's up guys and welcome to Tan Tennis Channel and in this video I will do a review on the Roland Garros 2022 Wilson Blade 98 and Wilson Clash 100. The first one Blade V8 18 by 20. They don't make the 16 by 19 in this color unfortunately and this is the third generation of the Wilson Blade Roland Garros. This one is the Clash 100 V2 um, it came in dark blue color and this is the second generation of the Clash Roland Garros. Okay, before we go to the court, please make sure you uh, like this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on the next videos. Thank you. First, let's check out the spec. It's basically the same as the normal version so I will not get into the detail that much. However, the swing weight on the blade is 338, what a monster, and I strung it with 18 gauge string, which is thinner than what I normally use. So I think it could go beyond 340 if I strung with 17 gauge. On the baseline, the blade is heavy, not very easy to maneuver and you need more time to prepare for your ground strokes. You can simply be late if your opponent hit heavy ball to you. For me, I need some time to adjust because I actually never play with the racket that has such high swing weight. Um, the blade has a solid and plush feel at contact. It gives you the confidence to hit through the ball, but um, the sweet spot is pretty small than the 16 by 19 blade that I normally use. So I don't really feel connect to the ball that much because I hit off center pretty often as I was late to the contact. The frame is absolutely under power. It does have a good plow through, but you need to generate racket head speed yourself. There ain't no easy power. The good thing is that the racket is super stable so you can return heavy ball without a doubt. On the other hand, it has low launch angle and pretty bad spin potential. You know, even in the 16x19 doesn't have the spin that much and for this 18x20, it is way worse. It doesn't suit my game style that much because I always hit with topspin and for this I struggle to find the perfect angle for my shot. I cannot generate enough topspin and there are lots of time that the ball either go to the net from too low launch angle or just fly out because the ball has no spin on it. However, I think a flat player would probably like um, this frame because I think if you hit flat, it would be perfect for you. Then I switched to Clash 100. It's a blessing. It made me feel like I was holding a sledgehammer for the whole time. The Clash is way lighter than the blade and it gives you some free power. The frame is softer, more plush, more comfortable, and it swings fast through the air. Definitely easy to maneuver, like I could swing with this racket all day long. The launch angle is higher, and the spin is way better. The downside though is the stability. I think because the frame can flex so much, it feels like the racket bending all the time at the contact point, and I don't feel very confident to put my power behind the shots. The control is okay when you hit it in the zone, but I feel like I cannot control the ball that out of the hitting zone. On super low ball that you have to reach for it, it could easily bounce out, while on the super high ball, it lacks power. I also find it difficult to handle heavy ball from the opponents. Although the frame gives you easy power, the weight of the ball is light because it has lower plow through. When you hit, it feels powerful, but I feel like my hitting partner can return it way too easy compared to other rackets. And you see that shot? That never happens with the blade. On the volley, the blade is very stable. Like you can block all the ball pretty well. You can control the power and the direction. It rarely bounces out. The downside is that it's just not so maneuverable and it's difficult to move freely with this racket in hand. On the clash, it feels good in the hand. It can block the ball pretty well but you need to be careful when opening the racket face as it could unpredictably trampoline 
the ball out on some shots. On point plays, I really struggle with the blade, especially in single match. Like when I ran too much, I get exhausted, and I don't have enough power to handle this racket. I think you have to be really fit and in your good form to get the best performance out of this racket. On defense, I don't have enough power to return the ball with pace, especially when running. The ball goes short and gives the opponent opportunity to attack me constantly, and I remain on the defense as I cannot turn it around. The first serve is okay, but the second serve is really bad, I cannot spin the ball. And for the clash, it is easier to play with in a single match. Like, I just need to be extra careful on the shots that I could hit out. Uh, the serve is good first and second. So in summary, I think the blade 18 by 20 is for advanced player who can handle the high swing rate. But for the clash 100, it could be a racket for playing casual match. I'm positive that ladies can play with this racket pretty well as it is light and give good power. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.